Hello guys, I'm Spicy Bill and this is going to be a review on the Bandai High Grade Universal Century HUC144 Scale uh, Zaku 2 High Mobility Type, also known as the uh, Zaku 2 uh, R2 So this one is the uh, Johnny Ridden or Johnny Ryden I think from now on we're just going to call him Johnny Ryden because I think that's his actual intended name, Johnny Ryden because Ryden, lightning So anyway, uh, this is his customized mode customized mobile suit and this is a uh, this is actually a very very special suit so this is part of MSV which uh, some may consider a canon non-canon but uh, so what happened in the uh, uh, according to the MSV the manga or whatever uh, the lore is basically uh, Johnny Ridden oh, Johnny Ryden Johnny Ryden uh, he was combating the uh, full armor RX-78 full armor Gundam and uh, in his uh, <clears throat> uh, Galguk, and the Galguk got trashed, just got completely punked by the full armor Gundam. Uh, he uh, retreated into uh, you know the uh, the ship or whatever, uh, pick up his uh, um, mo somewhat more modified version of the high mobility type. Uh, they call it the engineer call it the uh, full bullet Zaku two. He took out the uh, full bullet Zaku two and went on to fight the uh, full armor uh, RX seventy eight, the full armor Gundam, and then he destroyed it <laughs> using a Zaku. So this is, uh, I guess, this according to canon, you know, whatever. Uh, I guess this is like the first one of the first documented incident where a Zaku destroy a Gundam. So that's actually very significant, and yeah, six Z R. So anyway, uh, basically, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the box. The box art is very nice. Kit came out in 2013. We already looked at the box already in the unboxing. So this kit was uh, uh, re uh, well retails for 1,800 yen. So there we go. And here we have the instruction manual. Okay, so in the instruction manual, we have uh, all the information here, obviously. In the manga, it was modified into the full bullet Zaku 2. And technically, this is a non canon suit because it's MSV. So, there's one part you need to paint right here on the uh, uh, Ace Pilot antenna. So, I actually learned something new too. So, uh, these type of antennas called the Ace Pilot antenna, they're a little bit different from the uh, uh, Commander antenna. She's, uh, you know, here are, by the way, here's the leftover part, so we, we might as well take a look at the leftover part. Okay, extra shoulder pauldron, we got some uh, uh, elbow armor, or forearm armor, right here. Uh, we also got the extra head, if you want to make like a gr red grunt suit version of uh, if you want to do that. This is a commander antenna, and this is the, uh, what he has is the ace pilot antenna. So, according to a Xeon experts, uh, I guess I'm not a Xeon expert, but according to one of my friends who's an expert who like reads all the manga, all the lords and stuff like that, uh, some ace pilots are not commanders. Like for example, Shar is a commander, he commands troops, but for people like Johnny Ridden and uh, Shin Matsunaga, uh, they're, they're just like, you know, they, they don't command anybody. They're just like elite pilots who go out and kick ass. So, <laughs> yeah, they're on their own. So it's actually quite interesting to learn that. So anyway, uh, we have the uh, sticker sheet right here. I use it all up. Basically, uh, it doesn't tell you how to put on all the sticker on this kit. You can just improvise whatever you want. So I end up just using all of it, you know, because eventually I'm going to put water slide decal on it too. Here's the full stickers. Well, the full stickers are crap. Not worth even talking about. For accessories, we got another bazooka right here. This is his main bazooka. Apparently, uh, it's called the Rakazam Blast because uh, it's famous. So, also have his uh, Zaku machine gun here, which technically he uh, he can hold with his left hand because he come with the left trigger finger. So, let's go ahead and grab the uh, left trigger finger here. So this kit come with an extra uh, left trigger finger hand for you to uh, hold on to the uh, machine gun, just like Shin Matsunaga. 
Shimazu Naga also have that gimmick. I mean, they're essentially the same kid with some uh, minor differences. Well, somewhat major. Uh, we'll talk about that soon. So we got the Zaku machine gun. Uh, we got the typical he hawk. Got the he hawk here. Not very useful. Uh, we got an extra magazine right there. Got a multi purpose gripping hands. Of course. Two multi purpose gripping hands. One for the left and one for the right. I don't. What the? Why do I have two of these? <laughs> um, okay. I must have gotten some of the parts mixed up, but you have one right hand and one left hand. You also got this rack here. This is uh, very similar to uh, Shimatsunaga's uh, suit as well. So you can attach like you know all the weapons and uh, attach it to the shoulder uh, shoulder shield. So you have connection points here for the Zaku machine gun right there. Like that. Uh, I think the uh, this thing is supposed to be connected upside down. Zaku machine gun right here or right here, something like that. Anyway, you get the picture. Also got the clip here for the uh, he hawk, and then this one here crap onto the uh, uh, the Rakazan blast. That that's the official name for his bazooka. Apparently, that's what the RB stand for. It used to stand for Red Blitz. But Red Blitz is too close to the Red Comet, so they have to uh, right con that. So he's known as the Crimson Lightning. Okay, like I said, you know these. It doesn't tell you where to put all the stickers, so you can improvise. These are the official ones that you want to put on here. You do need to paint the back of the vent here, paint in the bottom of the each every one of the saucer belts. Uh, I didn't do that because one of my friend told me uh, he's going to show me a new way to how to paint it because he thinks the way I paint it isn't like the best way to do it. So <laughs> I'm actually quite curious on how he's going to show me the right way to do it. Okay, so anyway, pretty much the same kit. So we're going to go over the articulation real quick. Obviously, it works with the uh, Tamashi, uh, Tamashi uh, Act stage act combination. So. Yeah, it definitely is a lot better. So, okay, so for articulation, we got the toe articulation right here. Uh, well, it's a feet articulation, so you can hinge that out. Uh, you also have the double jointed knee, but it's very hindered because you barely get any uh, point of articulation past that. It's not even 90 degrees, unfortunately, because of how bulky this thing is. And this, yeah, these stickers sucks. I'm gonna have to do something about this one. It's already peeling off, god damn it. Okay, uh, we got the thigh cut right here. Again, it's kind of clashing into the uh, hip section, so that uh, hinders articulation. We do have a swivel here for the hip joint. Uh, the front skirt can be moved forward, side skirt can articulate, but yeah. Uh, this one for high mobility Zaku, the articulation is very hindered just because you know how bulky this thing is. It's even more uh, bothersome than the uh, Shimatsu Naga one because you can see there's a difference between the legs. So Johnny Ridden one actually have two gigantic covers that cover up all the intricacy, the details of the uh, high mobility, I guess thruster units. So his suit is more streamlined. So it looks sexier. <laughs> well, uh, Shimatsu Naga and the Black Tristar version looks like, you know, more like a bunch of, looks like a clusterfuck. To be honest with you, look at that. This looks so much sexier than that. It just looks cleaner, but it's just basically covering up all the, uh, you know, all the pipes and stuff like that. Which I think is cool. It's different. Okay, so... Continue the articulation. The waist articulation is also very hindered by the power cable. Uh, we got a double jointed for the neck, so you can rotate the head around. And it, again, not very well articulated. We have the swing out shoulder joint right here. It's a poly cap. Arm can rotate. Uh, shoulder pauldron can move up, so the arm can go perpendicular. Yep. And we have bicep swivel. Uh, single bend at the elbow. And that's all you get. So the not the best articulation. You can also adjust a mono. I got a little switch in there. 
Uh, the shoulder shield is basically just connected via ball joint poly cap, so that's really not something to write home about. It's a nice looking kit, but don't expect too much out of it. You know, if you want something with better articulation, uh, then probably go for the real gray. I'm only getting this one because I just want to have Johnny Ridden uh, next to my Shin Matsunaga. <laughs> I want to complete my Ace Pilot. And I'm hoping one day they will make a Rumble Rao version. Not the high mobility type, just a Rumble Rao a Blue Zaku 2. So I can, uh, you know, make jokes about it. Because apparently, if a Zaku is blue, it's it can't be a Zaku. <laughs> a blue Zaku isn't a Zaku. Then I don't know what it is. So anyway, uh, that's pretty much it for this review. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, thanks for watching.